Hi guys, so I just thought I'd do a quick video today about about four meters. Um, I got this Wuxun handheld a while back. Um, uh, it's about seventy eight pound on eBay. I think I paid about thirty quid for it second hand. Um, it's a really nice, chunky, well built radio. Um, not all the usual uh, the usual features of um, of, uh, of any two way radio from China. Um, sort of an emergency button. Not sure why I'd need that on on four meters, but but yeah. Um, it's got the A and B uh, VFO selector menu, exit up and down, and the uh, the keypad, speaker mic insert on there, which is the same as the uh, the both phone radios. Um, and just a nice little radio. Your volume and your channel select, belt clip, everything else. So I got one of these <clears throat> after reading online that um, that four meters in Manchester was pretty active. Um, there was a website, I can't remember what it was now, that, where a guy listed his log um, for like the past couple of months on 4 metres and there was tons and tons of call signs on there so I thought well I'll have a go at that, it'd be handy to take up a hill, put a few calls out and stuff and I'm, uh, I'm disappointed, there's uh, there's just no activity you know, and I've spent spent time uh, on uh, on my local hill shouting out on 4 metres um, and stuff like that but just never, uh, never seemed to hear anybody or have anyone come back um, so, uh, so yeah, I, I, I've never really, uh, never really had a QSO on this. I've tested it with a friend of mine, uh, car to car, and that was it. Um, comes with a really chunky, uh, solid helical uh, antenna on the top. Um, but I thought I'd get a couple of other antennas to, to sort of help. So I got this <clears throat> off uh, off the guy who sold me that. Actually, he, he sold me this dead cheap with it because I had no use for it, and he said it's uh, worked well for him. Although I've never, uh, never heard anything on it. Um, it's just uh, it's just a flexible, quite long, you can see in the video there how long it is. Um, it's a couple of, just over, well over a foot long. Um, it's got the SMA connector there. <clears throat> and, uh, and yeah, um, but like I say, just never never got around to, uh, to using it properly. Um, I also got this little little magnetic antenna for the car. It's only, only cheap. Um, it's a lot shorter. Not sure how well it'd work. I think on top of a hill it'd work pretty good. You know, I'd never drive around the, around the town calling out on four meters with this on because it's not gonna do anything, is it? But I um, I got this for again just going up to the local hill and, and having a shout out. Now, don't be fooled. That radio that isn't picking up a station. That's just interference. It keeps making it flash up. I really like the colour of the screen on this as well. So uh, that really vibrant. It's uh, it's a nice radio, but. But yeah, just uh, just just waiting to hear somebody on it. Like I say, I call out call out now and then, um, but not had the uh, not had any luck so far. So fingers crossed. If anyone uh, anyone watching this is in the Manchester area and wants to arrange um, arrange a sked for four meters, um, just uh, just let me know. It'd be nice to uh, be nice to get some use out of this radio. It's it's sat in the shack um, collecting dust so far, um, along with these these two antennas. So. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you anyway. Um, not not an amazingly exciting video, but like I say, if anyone ever fancied a, a chat in the Manchester area on uh, on um, four meters, then just give us a shout. Thanks for watching. Seven three for now.